Alright guys, we are back at Buckeye Power Sales. I believe they have me fixed up and ready to go. I wasn't going to do it till this weekend, but uh, it rained this morning, so I'm going to get out and aerate today. Thank God they got this thing fixed. And uh, two things. You're not going to believe whose fault it was. And number three, or number two, number three, what a week. This cat here is going to be eating a little bit of crow, and I'll tell you why later in the video. But uh, there's mine right there, man. DLT Lawn Care. That's my aerator. How many hours on it now? Let's see. Uh... I started up and all oh, 0.9. Yep. So they tested it, and uh, problem is, look at that. They don't have enough of that in there. That's got to be fixed. So uh, I'll be back, and we'll uh, talk about this thing and uh, get it all figured out. But uh, let's go. So Caleb is taking it to fill up the hydraulic fluid for some reason uh, it was not full so uh, got to get that done before I leave but uh, you know I got I will say this in this video I got to really be careful man because I'm not here to throw anybody under the bus I hope you all understand I was really pissed the other day. I mean, I drove 40 miles with my new aerator to have it break down. First time I had ever bought an X Mark, and it went down on me. You're not going to be a happy camper, man. That's lost money. Anytime I lose money, I'm not in a good mood. Okay? Uh, I will say this everybody here watched the video. Um, I know it doesn't look good on X Mark, but when you buy a new piece of equipment, you expect it to go out and run for a long time. Yes, things happen. I look, guys. I am not stupid. I've been doing this a long time. There's a lot of mowers out here that are broke down. Things happen. Hey, by the way, there's a brand new Skag, okay? And there's another new Skag, okay? And there's a Hustler. And here's X marks and stuff happens there's another skag so it it happens I get it things break down they're building machinery every day with machinery everybody makes a mistake I'll tell you later on here a little bit what happened because I want to get this clear uh, it, it, it's a it's a mixture of a couple it's a mixture of a little bit of everybody okay number one me for jumping the gun going after X mark okay I'm not an X mark fan and as soon as it broke down I took that as X mark is junk it's not junk okay I'm gonna say that Is she running good? Oh well, yeah. I mean, look at it. It's an X mark. <laughs> Caleb, come on now. <laughs> I gotta get you. Anyway, uh, so we found that they did not put another ram on there, did they? Good. Okay, so we know what happened. So we'll be back in a minute, guys. We'll talk about it. We'll get this thing out and do some work today with it. I'll be back. So today I'm going to get plenty of footage of this new aerator. And let's keep our fingers crossed that this thing works. That's all I'm saying. So, guys, I'll be back. 
get some footage, then I'll explain to you what happened, what the problem was. So, I'm going to eat some crow. Buckeye's going to eat a little bit of crow. And I think uh, even X Mark may in the end, but you never know. You guys may decide for yourselves. So, hey, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so uh, just got out in the first yard again. And uh, here sets the aerator with the belt blown off again. As you can see, I will show you what I got done. I got this done. Uh, I got a swipe down through here done, as you can see. And I got four swipes here done. This is exactly where it broke down last time. And I actually got that much with it. So I might as well tell you what happened. The red piece that broke off, okay, that piece was supposed to be on there for transport. Buckeye Power Cells called me, the owner, and he said, hey, this is our fault. We were supposed to take that off of the ram before we sent it out to you. The pin broke. It dropped down in there. It tore everything up. It is not X Mark's fault. It's our fault. I really, I, I thanked him because most companies would not do that. They they had it. They hired a new guy. They're facing the same challenges we all are finding people. They hired a new guy. And he forgot to do that. Okay, so they accepted the responsibility. I felt like, okay, I went off on X mark prematurely. Well, guess what? I didn't. Because this is not a Buckeye Power Cells problem. This is an X mark problem. This aerator, for some reason, is no good. Okay, it's just no good. There it is, sets. Six swipes, six swipes total, and the belt's off of it. And this time, this time, the pulley's not ripped. This is just a bad design, guys. That's what this is called. This is called a lemon. This is a bad aerator. So I have nine yards to aerate today. I decided to forego the mowing. So there's $400 I lost in mowing because it rained, and I thought, you know what, let's just go out and aerate. The machine's ready. Let's get it out there. Let's aerate stuff. Let's go to town. I called seven people. I said, I'm on my way. Guess what? Here I sit. What do you think, honey? What, what, what comes to mind right now? What do you think? Is it time to get our money back? Well. Is Honestly, it? I'm livid because this is absolutely ridiculous. But not Buckeye's fault this time. Nope. I honestly, I'm ready for a stinger. I'm ready to cut my losses and buy a stinger. Yeah, I just want my money back. That's all we want, isn't it? Yep. Our money back. Money back, and they can have the machine. Yeah, they can keep that machine. That machine has 0.9 hours on it. They can keep it. I'm, I'm, I have nothing against Buckeye Power Cells, and Greg really tried to take the blame for this. This is not Buckeye Power Cells' fault. And I'm telling you that, Greg, if you watch this video, this is not your fault. This is an X mark problem. I'm going to try to put that belt back on there and do something until they show up to pick this machine up. If it will even go back on. I have no idea, guys. I'm... <laughs> you know, earlier I said I didn't want to get on X mark too, too bad. And I shouldn't have because I was upset that I'm losing money. I've lost more money than you can even imagine. We're, we're talking over $3,000 at this point. This is killing us. This experiment with X Mark completely done. I don't want this machine. And we're going to figure out how we can get out from under this thing. I don't want it. 
I'll, I'll let you know what happens. I'll be back. Okay, guys, they came to pick it up. Quenching it up in there. That thing is uh, going back. Going back. Okay, we are, it's raining pretty good here. We're on our way back to Buckeye Power Sales. Um, they decided to refund us, get us out of the contract with um, Sheffield and refund us all of our money we put down on it and everything. This machine is just not a good machine. And uh, had a great talk with the owner. We're going to figure out something for me to be able to get out and aerate these yards. I have a lot of them to do. Sorry about that, guys. So um, we are going to get a refund of some type. Um, what do you think about this, honey? I know you're upset. You know what? I so am loving enough that I just stay silent. Anyway, guys, I'll pick back up where I left off once we get over to Buckeye. Um, it's just unfortunate, but he did find me a Ryan aerator to use for the weekend. Um, so that's what we'll be out doing this weekend, hopefully. And uh, they are giving that to me free of charge. I can't thank Buckeye enough. Um, I mean, you guys, if, if you're thinking, man, Shane, you're a real prick. I mean, this is my livelihood, man. This is my livelihood. And uh, th this is rough. This is rough to go through this, isn't it, honey? You know, people, they say it's only money. But it's your business and livelihood, it's a lot more than that. And my reputation of my work is on the line right now. And I'm, I'm extremely upset. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we'll be back. Finish the video out, guys. See you in a minute. Okay, guys. So, basically, we got a refund. Like I said, uh, just got done picking our check up. They're on their way back with the machine. So we called um, we called all over the place looking for a stinger aerator. There are none available. I called the factory. Stinger has put a hold on all their aerators until January 1st. They cannot get motors. Um, so it looks like Buckeye is going to loan us one this weekend to work. Uh, we'll probably stay out late doing aerations, wouldn't you think, honey? As much as you can. As much as we can do until it gets dark. And uh, I don't know, man. It's it's rough. But uh, so, yeah, no more X mark for Shane. Um, I, I, I am uh, done with that. But I'm going to tell you what, guys. It's going to be hard to get product next year it's it's getting really bad um, if you want a new mower I suggest you go buy a new mower now I don't suggest you wait on prices to drop or this uh, it ain't gonna happen you don't buy a new mower this year chances are next year you're not gonna get one anyway sorry the video was all over the place but uh, there's our day. Anything to say, honey? What a day. And thank you, Greg, again. And as always, guys, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. Buckeye does. You keep it real, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be mowing. Peace. I'm out of here.